Yo, what's up YouTube? John from Arc Fishing here. Um, it's a Tuesday after work. I'm going to try a public lake. Um, usually gets pressure on the weekends. I'm here on a Tuesday. I'm the only person here. I'm going to start out with a 4-inch black Sanko wacky rigged. If that don't work, I'm going to try either a jig spinner or a 3-ounce spinner bait. I'm using a 7-foot carrot stick, quantum smoke, bait cast and reel with 12-pound test suffix and clear monofilament. So, all right. Here we go, stay tuned, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Yo, what's up YouTube? Check out this nice 16 inch largemouth bass. Just caught a four inch black sank, a wacky rigged. Using the carrot stick, quantum smoke, bait casting reel, and 12 pound test, suffix clear monofilament. 
Nice fat 16 inch largemouth bass. Yo, what's up YouTube? Check out this 18 inch largemouth bass I caught. Fifth one of the day. What a way to end it. I'm running out of daylight. My fifth fish. Caught this on a four inch black sanko Texas rig with a weighted hook. 18, 18 inch largemouth bass. Great way to end the day. Okay, so you just saw in this video I caught five largemouth bass. I caught a 16 inch, a 12 inch, another 16 inch on a wacky worm, 4 inch black Sanko. Then I switched over a Texas rig with a weighted hook and I caught a 10 inch and an 18 inch largemouth bass. So, pretty good day of fishing. Um, great way to end the day on the 18 largemouth bass. And to put icing on the cake as I'm leaving, as I go to walk out, I find this fishing reel laying up on the shoreline. It's an Akuma granite. There was a guy up there, so I walked by and said, hey, did you lose a fishing reel? Did you forget this? He said, no, it wasn't his, so who knows long how it's been sitting there. But now that I catch five fish, I got myself a free fishing reel with a spool of line already on it. It's a green monofilament. So I'll have to clean this up and see how it works. Not a bad day. Five fish and a free fishing reel. It's broke back here, but I might be able to fix that. I'll have to check it out. Maybe that's why they left it behind. But, well, anyways... Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to click like, leave a comment below, and subscribe. Hey, also, I always want to let you know, if you take notice, there was orange duct tape on my fishing rod. It's an E21 carrot stick. The story behind that is, I bought it like that. It was missing an eyelet. I got it at um, a tackle retail store. It was in their bargain department. And, uh, I talked them down to forty dollars, so I bought that ride for forty bucks. All it's missing is an eyelet, and it had a sharp edge, so I just wrapped the tape around it. I didn't get a chance to fix it yet, but I've caught a ton of fish on that. Works great. The rod is super sensitive. Caught a ton of fish on that thing, especially when using a sanko and a jig spinner and, and small two and three inch minnows. Um, 
sensitivity is incredible on that rod. Um, just goes to show how good quality that rod. Still catching fish on it. Still works functional. Probably even though it's got a broken, missing eyelet, still works great. Um, so that's the story behind that.